Okay, I just want to give you a quick intro for constructions. First of all, this is the type of compass that I use. There are uh, the more traditional type. Um, the more traditional type is pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this one. Um, the point of the compass, if you will, is actually this part right here. So anytime that I say we put the point of our compass on a certain point, I'm, I'm referring to this right here. This slider allows us to open and close the compass different distances. You'll notice that there's um, holes on both sides. The only thing you need to be careful of is oftentimes in constructions we talk about we, we make a mark and then we have to make a similar mark without changing the compass. So make sure that if you use the outside hole that when you make the corresponding mark that you use the outside hole again. I suggest to you that you get used to using one or the other and not switch back and forth as much as possible. I tend to use the inside but there's really no difference between the inside and the outside. Whenever we make a construction mark say I'm given a segment and I want to make a construction mark. So I'm going to put the point of my compass on this point right here and then I want to make a construction arc. When I put the point of my compass I'm going to use two different colors but since you're just going to be using your pencil whenever you make arcs you want them to be very light. You don't want to bear down on your compass and you want to be very sort of light with it. One thing that I see students doing a lot of that I want you to not do is I see students going back and forth like so. That's not a good idea. These compasses tend to loosen up and what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with a very thick arc mark and you don't want that. You want your arcs to be very subtle. However, when you are finished with your compass, when you're const with your construction, your tendency is going to be to want to erase your construction marks. Don't do that. You should actually leave your construction marks on the paper. So say you made a construction and you ended up having a point of intersection right about here for whatever reason. You created an arc. And so here's a point of intersection. When I connect these two points, I'm going to make a pretty deliberate line. This part you can make nice and dark but I'm not going to erase my construction marks. I'm going to leave them right here because they give um, the instructor information on how you're doing and, uh, and it's just proper to leave the construction marks. At the same time, you want things to be very neat, neat and tidy. Okay, you don't, want to, uh, you don't want to make a mess of your constructions. So that's just a little intro. The following videos are going to teach you how to do some actual constructions. Um, everybody's compass is a little bit different, so you're going to want to practice as much as possible um, to get used to not only your compass, but to get used to the steps for creating um, all these different types of constructions.